Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Shop Local All The Way. This week we're featuring two more of our Big Frog stores, uh, the owner from El Paso and our owner from Edwardsville, Illinois. So if you don't know what Shop Local is, we're doing a promotion through April where you can nominate your favorite local small business. Big Frog is all about supporting our local communities and helping out our local businesses. So nominate a business and you can get a free t-shirt from your local Big Frog store. The way to do that is to visit bigfrog.com slash shop local or use that QR code you see on the screen and jump to our landing page and nominate your favorite small business. We appreciate it and your local communities appreciate it. Uh, so if you do nominate a local small business, they have an opportunity to win $100 worth of free branded gear for their business. So it's really important that you do that and you get a free t-shirt. So it's a win-win for everyone. All right. So if you're watching us live on our main Facebook page or your local Facebook pages, comment and you can also have a chance to win a free shop local all the way t-shirt. Uh, so please comment, support your local businesses and do everything you can. All right, so uh, Seda, do you want to bring in, Seda is our backstage uh, director of photography. Do you want to bring in uh, Jeremy Colton from Big Frog of Edwardsville? There he is. Hey, Jeremy. Hi. How are you? Not good. Look at the cool t-shirt I got. I know, and we match, so we're very cool. <laughs> Um, I did forget to say, though, so happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans out there. And we'll be talking about that a bit with Jeremy and his manager, Chris. Um, special thanks to my dad, who retired as a commander in the United States Coast Guard. Um, and to all of our veterans, thank you for your service. Uh, so, Jeremy, why don't you tell us a bit about Big Frog, your Big Frog, and how you got started? Well, uh, basically, I, I was a uh, human resources manager and Apparently, I wasn't a very good human resource. <laughs> I got fired from my job. And uh, as an incredibly lucky person, my wife came into a little bit of money right at that time. Uh, emphasis on a little bit because uh, I promote buying the franchises. And they're <laughs> one of the least expensive of a brick and mortar that you can get. Which is not why I bought it, but uh, it certainly was a nice, a nice feature. And um, so I was looking around, and do I start a business from scratch? Uh, do I buy an existing business, which is a lot like buying a used car? You get all their problems. Uh, and I found out about franchising, and franchising just really, really appeals to me. Um, the the cooperative nature of it. My wife spent. Uh, 40 years in the college store business. And I go to her conventions and everybody is helping everybody else out. Um, and I find even, you know, not, not only within Big Frog, but other franchisees of other franchises we talk, you know, how do you get your help? What kind of help do you get from your franchise? What should we suggest? And it's just very cooperative. Um, and so that really appealed to me. And I, I came in through a broker uh, I probably won't say the name because I imagine you work with more than one, but uh, he was very, oh, he did a lot of work. He interviewed me and gave me tests and finally narrowed it down to a few concepts. And uh, this just, it, the Big Frog had and has all of my criteria. I'm making money. I wasn't looking to make a huge amount of money. This isn't, this is, isn't the place to get to get rich. You want to be on Tina's side of the fence. You want to get rich. <laughs> but uh, but the risk is much lower, right? They took all the risks and worked out the kinks and sold me a system that works. Uh, and uh, there's a product at the end of the day. I know some people, I network a lot, and I know people who love selling insurance because there's no inventory shortage. Nothing is stuck on a boat. They don't have to do cost of goods sold at the end of the month. To me, that doesn't appeal to me. To me, I like to have a physical, you know, something I can show. We made this. In this case, Chris made it, but you know, right. <laughs> uh, and and so that, you know, it, it suited me from that degree. Uh, I, I didn't want to do all the work myself, but I didn't want to be managing a huge team of, you know, having to find a new waitress every week, like one of my buddies does. Uh, and it, it just was right down the 
it was right down the, 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 the line. And particularly relevant to what we're doing today uh, is the ability to be charitable was part of, that was one of my criteria, you know, as the owner, I can say, you know what, third grade teacher who's paying for the shirts out of her own pocket, I'm just going to donate the shirts because I want to, you know, I don't feel it should come out of your pocket or when there's a cause that I particularly believe in. Now, we make some money on causes, not as much as on um, full on business sales, but uh, uh, people do fundraising. We do shirts for fundraising, but I also have the opportunity to. Um, you know, call for help is a woman's support, something I very, very much believe in. Uh, and one year I donated their shirts. I'm able to do that. I don't have to answer to an accountant. I only have to answer to my <laughs> wife. So when it comes down to veterans, um, the former owner of Big Frog in St. Louis had to close up. Nothing to do with COVID. This was before COVID, but she had to close up. And she had a close relationship with the Kaufman Fund, which has uh, been in many years. They started with the concept of uh, free trees for better Christmas trees for veterans, not just random trees, Christmas trees, because <laughs> that was the business one of them was in. And one of them had one of the the guys that started it had a son killed in action and he wanted to do something in memoriam. And it's just it's gradually grown over the years. And I just I just love that uh, thought of being able to do what we do and support them. Uh, and so we uh, we bring out shirts and we give them out to the golfers. And it's it's that the golf is what raises money for them. Uh, and it's one of the things that makes the golfers come back. Well, oh, what's our free shirt going to be this year? You know, oh, good. and uh, uh, last year, Denise herself, Denise Pohl, who had the other store, uh, came out and I got to chat with her and find out she's doing well. So that was uh, that was a really good thing to know, because, you know, we we kind of end up as a little bit of an extended family. You know, it's kind of weird that Tina's my mom because I'm older than her. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I'm not sure I like the analogy, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, so, Jeremy, why don't you, you know, you've been in business a while now for yourself. Do you have any advice on, you know, creating a successful small business? Um, I mean, I, to me, the thing we get a lot of our business from the uh, from people just seeing it and wanting to know what the heck is a big frog. There's mm -hmm. not a whole lot you can do about that. I think I changed my pedestal sign to be come get a t-shirt instead of big frog that nobody knew what it was. Um, uh, I would say, you know, follow the system. My goodness, that's the, the silliest thing in the world is to pay a whole bunch of money to somebody to show you how to do it and then not do what they say. Um, <laughs> Unlike some franchises, Big Frog gives us a, a little bit of leeway to be creative. But I think, you know, basically you need to follow the system. Um, so you need to, you know, you need to get out and, and meet people. And, and that's the thing that I think you can do beyond, you know, get known. Uh, if you could start in your own community, that's great. Um, the community I was in, I was almost entirely new to me. And now I feel like I'm. Now I feel like I'm one of the crowd up here. <laughs> you can't miss Jeremy in a crowd. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, and um... excellent. Um, so I was curious. I heard. Well, I saw your news article the other day. That was great. A couple articles on you guys um, about Veterans Day, and you're running special Veterans Day promotions right now. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I was thinking about. Um, you know, giving somebody something that's meaningful to them. So what we're doing is, uh, uh, is we're doing a, a second print. And the concept was a lot of people might want to put an American flag on their, uh, on their shoulder, or mm. they might want to put, you know, Navy on the back, probably not if they're Army, but, you know, they might want to put their, their a branch on the back or something like that. So, I mean, actually, if somebody says, hey, would you put my 
granddaughter's picture instead, of course, we're going to do it, you know. Uh, but that was kind of the idea. I thought that would be more meaningful than necessary yeah. percentage off. Um, yeah, I like that. I so like that. That's what we're trying to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and so I know you have with you your manager, Chris. Yeah. Uh, so you've had... I. Chris came here for training, so I've known Chris forever too. <laughs> but, but do you want to give us an idea of why you hired Chris? Well, I mean, the 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 the, the military background was very impressive. I get the you know I get here we go. I get the uh, um, uh, the experience of all that training, uh, you know, without us having to do it or us having to pay for it. Um, and way Chris explained his job in the military was he basically had to tell people who outranked him that they were wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right, you got to be really diplomatic to do that <laughs> because of the way it runs in the army. Uh, and I thought, you know, that, that just seems like, um, uh, he didn't have the retail experience I was looking for, but I thought, my goodness, you know, that, that, um, uh, you know, that ability to work with people to, you know, they say a diplomat is somebody who can sell you something and convince you it was your idea. And I think you have to do that with somebody who outranks you. That's how I yeah, think. Yeah, it. true. But, you know, this is, this is really going to fit in well. And he did have the graphics background and, it's, you know, tremendous, tremendous designer. Just, I just love his work as a designer. So it, uh, um, it seemed like the right person to run the store. And I had made a decision. There's a couple of different models, but I had made a decision that, uh, that I wanted to have a managed store from the beginning. I know some owners manage their own store and cultivate somebody but again, uh, being an officer in the army, that this person is ready to have the responsibility. I don't have to be concerned about, you know, I don't have to be concerned. I'm pretty much not concerned about anything, uh, <laughs> you know, except keeping the guys happy. That's my job, yep. is, you know, keeping the staff happy and, and and they get the work done and, you know, Chris is the one with the whip, you know, if we need to get it out and time to the whipping post, it's all. <laughs> okay. Which we don't advocate at Big Frog. No whipping posts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Chris, can you pop in now so we can chat with you a little bit? Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. So, Chris, why don't, I know how long you've been with us, but how long have you been with Big Frog and what do you love about Big Frog? Well, I, I saw the LinkedIn uh, pop up that said it was seven years now. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been here for a while. Uh, you know, what's the good thing about it is I've had the same staff since I started working here. Uh, That's impressive. Me and one other person. And then uh, I would say, I think it was about six or nine months later, we hired another guy. And it, it's just been us three, you know, running the show since uh, since that point. So. I've been very fortunate to have the same guys working with me. Absolutely. Especially these days, turnover is a big issue. So that's fantastic. Right. Good, good. Uh, <clears throat> you know, one of the things that, that keeps me here, uh, it's always interesting to see what comes in the door. I never know who or what is going to come in the door. There <laughs> be, you know, like, gag gifts are always a big hit, uh, you know, the bachelor bachelorette party oh yeah <laughs> i think the the best is the embarrassing photo uh my friend is going to wear the embarrassing photo of me to humiliate humiliate me uh, you know, whether it's uh i'm a laughing picture. so hard because i'm thinking of, of one specific one that required a little photoshopping i'm sorry yeah <laughs> Between pictures of them when they were kids or, you know, sometimes it's just random. We, uh, for a, a weird example, we had a, a guy, he was in a, a bathtub of ramen noodles and he wanted that <laughs> on a shirt. Uh, okay. It, it, I, like I said, you would never predict that to come into the store. No. 
<laughs> you can buy just one from Big Frog and there you go. <laughs> Um, can you share a little bit with us about your time in the military um, and how that training and experience has really helped you in your managerial and retail role now? Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll try to put it in a nutshell here. Uh, I, I went through the ROTC program in college, uh, graduated with through Army ROTC here in Edwardsville uh, is where I went to college at. Uh, after that, it was an officer in the infantry. I bounced around from Fort Benning, Georgia to uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I did some officer training there. I spent most of my time at uh, Fort Riley, Kansas. Uh, that's where I was stationed. In 2011, uh, I went to Afghanistan. I had an administrative role there, uh, keeping track of incoming personnel, making sure they had uh, the right training and they were getting to the different places in Afghanistan where they needed to be. Uh, before that, uh, I was a platoon leader. I was in charge of Bradley's, which are smaller versions of a tank, uh, and about 40 people. And, uh, you know, towards the end of my career, I, I did uh, physical, physical security uh, of the Fort Riley base itself. And at, at one point, I was probably in charge of about 200 people. Wow. That's some amazing experience right there. So handling two isn't so bad. And yeah. Jer well, Jeremy probably is a challenge, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the things from going from, from 40 down to, to two is uh, definitely being able to, to divvy out the, uh, the responsibilities and then taking on res responsibility myself. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't ask anything of the guys that I wouldn't be willing to do myself. Uh, and I think that's what, that's why we all get along and why we stay mm -hmm. together long. It's a small business. We all clean the toilets now and then, right? <laughs> all right. Well, um, thank you for your service, Chris. Uh, obviously we appreciate it on this veterans day, especially. Um, so I think that wraps up Edwards, Phil. Thank you both very much for being here. We yep, appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so now we have Angie Rodriguez from Big Frog of East El Paso. There she is. Hey, Angie. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. Very excited. You know me. I know you. <laughs> Angie is our most excited franchisee and Big Frog owner in the system. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be parking. I'm going to be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we're happy to have you here. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about your Big Frog store and your journey to becoming a Big Frog owner? You know what? It's, it, well, it's been four years that we opened our franchise here in El Paso. And um, it was a, quite a journey, okay? It was, it was because I wasn't sure, you know, I have an amazing husband that that has supported me all the time and, you know, working in the newspaper industry for so many years. Um, and you know how that, that was, the newspaper was declining online, you sure. know, all that. Mm -hmm. So um, he told me, do you want to open a business? And I was like, oh, not real. I do, but I don't know what we want. Um, but let me tell you why I choose Big Frog. Okay. There's a reason for that. Um, so finally, you know, we decided we went through, through, um, uh, front net to, you know, because we didn't know what, I mean, franchise, you talk about franchise and you're going to think it's a restaurant, right? Right. I'll think it's a restaurant or, or food related. Uh, we went, we went through the process and when we went through that, they gave us a list and I saw big for custom t-shirts and more. Before this, like a year, two years before trying to open a business, I went and did my first half Ironman, okay? At, 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 um, at uh, Arizona. So I was already on the process, okay? Because I remember I went and met Gilbert. We went to Gilbert's uh, Big Frog. Mm -hmm. And um, so before that, I wanted to print a shirt. I wanted to to run with a quote, you know, and here it's like print, you know, buy shirts for 
five ninety nine, you know. So I went. I went in, and they said, "Oh no, you have to buy twelve shirts." I didn't understand the printing back then, so I'm like, "No, but your sign says five ninety nine. Well, yeah, you have to buy twelve because we do screen print." I, I didn't understand all that, so I was very mad because I couldn't <laughs> print that shirt. So when we went through the through the list of um, franchises, when I saw Big Frog Custom T-shirts and more, you know, no minimums, twenty four hours turnaround. It took me back when I wanted to print one shirt, and I told George, "I want that business. I want that <laughs> business because there's a lot of me's out there that just want one shirt." And they can because it needs to be. Now I understand the whole process of everything, you know. But at least we have that option, and it's been. I mean, I I love my store. I love Big Frog. I mean, I think I made the great decision to to bring it here to El Paso because you know I have given a lot to to a lot of people. They just needed one shirt, just like me. Mm -hmm. Do you want to share some of the moments you've given back to the community? You know what I have. Well, I'm, I think one of the you know one of the 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 big. I mean, I have given a lot in four years, um, but one of my satisfactions, and I feel very you know, it's it's the schools when I take Finley mm -hmm. Finley the frog because you know we have a mascot and it's Finley the frog, and it's when I go to the schools and the kids. Hug Finley, and you know the parents want to take pictures with Finley. That right there, it's like that. That's what I love. You know, that's 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 very rewarding for me when when they come in and they're gonna get their free shirt because they were terrific kids. They color it and bring it to the store. You know that that is that is big for me. That's one of my biggest things that I that I love about you know giving to the community. Yeah, I love the pictures of Finley in, in his tutu as well. So it's very, <laughs> <Yeah>. very cute. <laughs> um, so why don't you share with us, because all the small businesses, you know, are just trying to ramp back up from COVID, what marketing strategies that you're using to help drive your business these days? You know what? I have used a lot. I um, And thanks to, to you guys, you know, because, um, and, and to some of my, mentors here in, in, in El Paso, um, um, social media. I have utilized social media a lot. Um, and, and it has come, I mean, you know, I even do TikToks. I know she does TikToks. You have to check out Angie's TikToks. <laughs> um, I, 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 that's what I have. And of course, you know, my, my BNI meetings um, that I, I, you know, since I opened the, the business, I've been uh, a member in, in our synergy group here in El Paso. So that has generated a lot, you know, for us, for me, a small business. But I think mostly it's uh, word of mouth. You know, I have customers in Las Cruces and it's, it's the customer service that, that you know, we give, you know, that we try to give here. You know, that's one of my, my, my number one thing. And for all, you know, the big frogs for you guys, you know, that it's, the number one is customer service. Why? Because they're the ones that are going to be referring, uh, you know, to friends, families, and 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 all that. So that's what I've been. Absolutely, that's it's imperative for all, especially these days. It seems like people are really lacking customer service, right. and that's not our stores. All of our owners are phenomenal and treat their staff well, and the team treats the customers excellent. So right. yeah. I I completely agree with that. All right, so we also have one of your favorite customers on the line. Seda, can you bring in Lorena from La Buena Paint Parties? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Lorena. Hi, how are you? Happy You're Veterans well. Day. Happy Veterans <laughs> Day. <laughs> um, so you're, so just Angie, you, we can still hear you. So if you're going to talk, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lorena, why don't you tell us about your business? Well, it's an amazing business that was created during COVID. I actually uh, found an escape and started painting to feel good during the times that I felt anxiety or sadness. And I got crazy painting. Oh, 
<laughs> She's wearing one of our oh, <laughs> aprons. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened was uh, people wanted me to share the painting experience with them. And then as a joke, I said, I'm going to start charging you. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, it's a good I idea. could do this. It's a good idea. <laughs> and at the same time, I have an, a sister who was a retired art teacher. So if anything, I get a lot of guidance from her. And I feel that I, my painting parties, which is La Buena Paint Parties, not Al Buena, <laughs> but La Buena, I feel that it's an out-of-the-box experience to, to paint and for people to share that experience is, is what I want more than anything. And that's what I learned through COVID, that there, it's therapy. More than anything, it's therapy. And are these for adults primarily? Or how does this work? How does Adults, it work? children, all ages. It, it's, it's pretty interesting. It seems that when people start or go into the painting parties, they're not, they're skeptical. They're, I can't even draw they would say or that's what i would say <laughs> well i find the artist in, within you okay there's an artist inside you that you didn't even know and that's that's what's so exciting is that it's an experience if you've never done it before and do you have a location or do you travel to their locations right now i'm getting locations that are, are asking me for Oh, okay. for my services because sometimes it draws people to their business if we have like a little paint party oh like a team building thing exactly okay. we can have a team building we can invite uh guests and have a guest night we can have a we've had a bachelorette party we've had um hairdressers this was really cool we had a bunch of hairdressers for a bonding kind of party and they all had to acrylic paint color their picture. <laughs> so that was a that was a different way of coloring hair, right? <laughs> it's catered to the person and their special needs. I tried something spectacular and different, like doing theme parties. So I started some. Um, I did a Stevie Nicks night, and Ooh, that huh? was amazing. All we did was hear Stevie Nicks. We talked about her and her interesting life and at the same time we're painting but I, since she only looked like a beautiful blonde i told everybody to write stevie nicks underneath the painting so that way they knew who she was <laughs> <laughs> and they thought that was great i go good i've also done some mexican singers uh one that's really popular and is a, a native of our area which is juan gabriel and we had a different crowd of people for that one and then we're singing mariachi songs whistling and singing and practically dancing too oh wow well, what? that sounds fun. It is. It is. That's excellent. Um, so, so you during COVID, that's very ambitious to start something new then. Um, but it sounds like it's a passion, you know, which is phenomenal. It has. It's become one. Is uh, and have you had the opportunity to do much within the community besides, you know, the parties itself? Anything. I actually am working with nonprofits as voluntary paint parties. I do sometimes I do like the first five free or I discount it a lot and put my portion of it to give back to the community. Oh, wow. And yes, I, I've been doing that. Some people are doing um, what is a nonprofit get together so we can get all the stuff for Christmas for children. So yes, so we do oh, fundraisers wow. as well. Oh, that's great. Oh, and let me say, because Angie forgot to say it, she is collecting toys for tots at her location right now. So. Ooh, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So um, what challenges are you seeing right now? We're out of pretty much out of the pandemic. Fingers right. crossed. Uh, what challenges are you seeing right now as we head into 2022? Well, my challenges right now, since I'm spanking new, is to get the word out that I'm here. Mm -hmm. So now I guess I'm visiting people and telling them, hey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am focusing a lot on um, yoga and uh, therapy places. Also because I also do spiritual healing classes. I okay. have, my sister's a doctorate, has a doctorate in spiritual healing. So we do art to heal oh, and wow. to find your inner child. It's kind of nouveau, mm -hmm. but I need to get that word out. So I'm just talking to people for now, networking, like 
I, that's how I met Angie is through networking and knowing Good. people in their businesses. But I do need help with more social media and advice on how to promote. Do you buy airtime? Do you do you invest in Facebook and Instagram? Does it work? I have all these challenges. So, and then I'm getting my website pretty much started as of next week. So oh, that's okay. exciting. I'm spanking you guys, but yeah, it's but you've grown so well organically without yeah. all the you know traditional methods. So that's well, phenomenal. Imagine well, when you add all of that. <laughs> well, I do have a real job. Okay, this is the oh, <laughs> <laughs> this will be very challenging to. But wait, I mean, it can happen. There's people that do really well with these parties, and I'm oh. looking into corporate and growing, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that that. I'm still waiting for this. <laughs> yes, I'm, we're going to do a party at Angie's. Let, yes. me, let me cross that finish line, okay? okay. At 90 days. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, Angie's doing her next. Where are you going to Cozumel? Can Cozumel, Cozumel to do my first full Ironman, 140, oh 26 miles. What? Yes. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> We're, we admire you very much, yes. but there's no way you'll no catch way, me right. doing that. <laughs> All right. Well, anything, any last thoughts, ladies, before we shut it down? i like to thank Big Frog. I think your services are amazing. I love my aprons, my shirts, and you're so efficient, quick, and creative. I'd like to thank uh, you. shout out to you guys. Aww. Thank you, thank you. You know what? And and to her because like you know, um, she's very humble. But I did meet her in a um, I didn't know who she was, and she contacted me, and I'm like, who is this lady? You know, <laughs> um, harassing me to go to this networking, and you know, and I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I I I loved who she is. I mean, we clicked the first moment that we met um i mean and she was doing breakfast with, with friends you know and she how long were you doing breakfast with friends for like what 10 nine years yes <laughs> and, and you know and i go and i'm like oh my god this is another networking you know and besides the ones that i was already doing you know i met more new people there so that's how i met her because she puts a lot of passion to 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 the community and to to networking you know i mean she has taught me a lot you know great mm -hmm. advice you know i mean from there we have became very good friends so thank you lorena for thank for you your for support inviting me. And for, for being there whenever i have needed you know oh, no thank you for inviting me this has been wonderful thank you it's been fun and and angie can show you how to do tiktoks so. Yes, Angie, please show me how to do TikToks, fast paintings. I, I, yeah, I think that'd be great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys very, very much for being here. And remember, everyone who's watching, hopefully you engaged. You can get free T-shirts that way. Um, and remember to nominate your favorite local small business so they can win $100 worth of free gear to help their business grow. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thank you so much.